guys how are you all doing and welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Ems and I'm from South Australia so in today's video guys I'm going to share to you my first DIY shelving so this one has been two years here now before this area here is just a black canvas and behind this uh, shelving is a corrugated iron which is our shed where we put our tools and some garden tools so since this area here guys receiving a morning direct sun so i decided to put a shelving here since our succulent loves a full sun or morning direct sun so when you choose an area to put your succulents or to grow your succulents make sure they're receiving a morning direct sun or full sun because that's what they love to grow healthier and to grow compact and beautifully so that's why this area here is my choice to grow my succulent i don't have any problems with putting my shelving in here uh, in an open environment because i have this overhead cover so originally this one here is used for windows awning but then i decided to put it and use it for my covering for my shelving for this succulent plus that i have here and i'm happy i use this one guys because it really protects my succulents from any weather conditions and it's been here for two years or nearly three years and i don't have any issues of burning or issues of um issues of frost burning or summer heat burning and something like that so guys some advantage of using this polycarbonate <laughs> so this is the polycarbonate guys this is what it looks like <laughs> The sunlight passed through them while preventing harmful UV rays and capable to withstand extreme, extreme temperatures, either hot or cold. And they say it's exceedingly strong and durable. So, <laughs> so this polybicarbonate, guys, you can, um, you can cut it by size, the size that your area coverage yeah. isn't it yeah. and then you can after cutting it you just put the joiners. what you call it yeah the joiners and the side frame <laughs> <laughs> and so the side frame are these ones here and you can just attach them with the polycarbonate and it's easy to attach on the wall as well so here is the so you just attach it to the wall like that you by using a coach bolt what do you use huh coach bolt it's a coach bolt so there are two holes there to attach to the wall with a coach bolt you buy a certain amount of panelings per box at bunnings <laughs> so you get it at bunnings bunnings what is that commercial for bunnings <laughs> no. now bunnings if you're watching this, you get me, all right? I'll tell <laughs> there are some different uh, design. There's some. There are some flat ones, multicolored, and colored, <laughs> and they also have this curvy one. So I curvy. just choose the curvy one because it's a bit attractive, and <laughs> and it's good and it's good addition to your it's garden. Good like me. So this is the amount of sunlight that this bottom shelf or bottom area is getting and right at the end over there it's already shaded and the front row is receiving a lot of sunlight and if you look at closer you can see that the resets of the plants are very hard and strong and colorful and they really thriving well and they have a very strong leaf and over this area here you can see that the front row is getting a good amount of sunlight still but right at the back it's already shaded so that is why the plant that i put right at the back are those plants that don't mind a shaded um condition just like this how worth you here so how worth you don't mind a little bit of shaded 
so that is why they are tribing wall there and look at this one Haworthia here this double or variegated Haworthia it's really growing beautifully and nicely this Haworthia here guys this one here I started as small as like this one here and now after a year it looks like this very strong leaf nice leaf and very nice variegation color so I got few Haworthia there at the back because they are the only ones survived in that position so and I love Haworthia guys they are beautiful as well look at this they grow nicely and compact and look how pretty is that beautiful isn't it there you go and if you put them and display them in a nice spot they will going to give you a nice display and look at this one guys look at this one this is just a common how worth yeah look at that how beautiful is that rosette there so pretty and look at how translucent those tip in there there you go so beautiful i love her worth yeah there so if you have some shaded part in your shelving or in your garden why don't put some her worth yeah they will going to add some character in interesting part in your garden there you go so pretty and over this uh, front row here you see they are receiving a good amount of sunlight and look at this um crassula here is this crassula <laughs> and look at this one guys look at the color since this one is receiving a good amount of sunlight and that is why this is colorful all year round look at that so pretty so this is a baby necklace crassula baby necklace isn't it yeah so see how pretty is that and this is a lola my lola so i have few lolas but you need to also give them a full amount of sunlight and if you don't they will attear like and look at this one guys now this one i don't have a identification or i do if i can find the id i will put on the screen if in case you like to get one for yourself and look at this how beautiful the flowers so delicate and so tiny but it produces a lot of flower during this time of the month which is february good for valentine's day and the leaf are this so tiny oblong shape and sometimes it turns into orange like this one here but you need to water it all the time because the leaf will shrivel easily there you go so that's the color of the leaf not much leaf at the moment because the flowers are the ones showing up so it looks like it looks like a little bonsai tree isn't it guys i love this plant but seems like it's very rare it's very rare to find and of course my purplish grayish pinkish succulent in this side some of them just turn into grayish so this is a other forum and the lavender pebbles still purplish pinkish in color but because it's very sunny you cannot really see that much and this is how i display my succulent here you go so they look so attractive and very nice to look at and not just look at cluttered and i always have a little brush in here in case when i just come here from work and looking around sometimes I can see some aphids hanging around all I do is just remove them by the brush here so I always come out so I always come here after work and just 
admire the beauty of this area here so here they are and you see how much sunlight this area here or this succulent here gets and look at this Graptoberia pink ruby guys so beautiful and the color is amazing and this one here I have this for a while maybe a year it grows so slow and this is like a so strawberry cheesecake I just watered it last night because this weekend until Tuesday we're going to have a hot weather or extreme weather so at least they are ready and hydrated but today it's only 23 24 degrees so they're fine and look at this so beautiful the color are amazing and this one here they call this they call this a Chinese jade or hedgehog and look how pretty is that and it's already flowering so I think this is include in the uh, monocarpic plant so after they flower they die but I already have some babies here that already grown so I'll be fine and I'll just enjoy this flower here at the moment see that that's pretty and they are so pretty I'm so in love with this shelving here guys so gorgeous and I can't really get my eyes out of it after work I go straight here and check them and look at them and admire them admire their beautiful and beautiful color and amazing display so here they are so some most of my succulent here guys are just a common succulent they are not a rare succulent you can still get a good and beautiful display just put them in a nice beautiful pot as well to enhance more their beauty there you go and put some a little bit of accessories to add some interesting character in your shell being maybe put your name as well as well as put some lights this one is a solar light it lights up at night and maybe add some little bit of a messages in there just like what i have here and says you are my sunshine my only sunshine <laughs> so that's a nice saying there guys and don't throw your old candle holder guys you can use it to hold your small parts to create some heights on your shelving and yes i have miss ruby here that is very pretty so beautiful i loved it and some of my agavoids over here so this one is a snow peach and then we have the amistro agavoids echeveria agavoids amistro then we have the echeveria agavoids ebony pretty nice beautiful color then we have Echeveria Agavoy's lipstick right at the back and I have the Black Knight over there and a cluster of Snow Peach and my lovely rose and this one here is Purple Delight that changed into grayish color and then we also have this Echeveria Agavoids Rene or Renault. Now this one is beautiful. Um, what are you? Echeveria Polydonus. This one. Echeveria Polydonus. And this one is Echeveria Colorata. I already have two babies with this. Now this one here, it says this is Echeveria Pink Ruby 
in Korean form. I don't know why it's not different from that one. Maybe this one has a big rosettes and this one they have small tiny rosettes and it got burned. There you go, but it's all right. It can recover later on because I'm trying to climatize it. But then I put it here on top of the shelf, then it got burned. But that's all right. It's not really bad burn. And I also have a Agavoids Romeo. And this one here, this is Echeveria Taurus. It looks like the same with Romeo, isn't it guys? But I think the tip is quite different, the form of the leaf. And this one, the tip are more darker than the Taurus one. So right at the back is lano, lano leptalum or, or chocolate something. I'll put the name or the ID on the screen. Another Papi Python Glutinical. Okay, so this one is Blue Elf, but at the moment the color is just blue. But later on winter time they change into a pinkish or darkest pink color. And I have a red top here. I think this is Echeveria Agaboids. Oh, hang on. This one is Echeveria Agaboids red top. There you go. Red top. And this one is Echeveria Agaboids Miranda. Miranda. Now this is Echeveria Agaboids as well, but I'm not sure what sort or what type and then my black prints pretty black prints and another Benny Musume on that corner that is showing a nice beautiful color now on top here we have Ellen Ellen is very chubby at the moment because it's really receiving a lot of sunlight and it's because it's very close to this roofing I have here there you go and that's why it turns to very chubby 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 leaf <laughs> so pretty isn't it guys there you go now I have another ebony here they're so pretty as well and healthy what else now this one here this is uh, when I bought this one it say it's uh, Echeveria Agavoids, blood, uh, Echeveria Bloody Maria or Blood Maria, but it's quite different from Blood Maria. Mm, I'm not sure, but that's what it says when I got this. And I have a new purchase here. Now, this is another Echeveria Agavoids, but that lady that where I got this one says that this is Echeveria Agavoids Ebony or Ink Ebony. So the difference of ink ebony, she said to me that the color is more darker on the tip. So see how it goes later on when this one uh, grow a bit bigger. Let's see if we can see the difference from Echeveria Agavoids ebony and ink ebony. Now over here, this is cubic cross. I propagated it from leaf and it's been attacked by the millibug. This one is Ionium. Pretty Aeonium. Look at that. Look at the color, guys. So beautiful. And at the moment, this Aeonium are dormant. So, guys, stick around and enjoy while I continue showing you more of my collection in this area. And if you're into making your own pots decor, please visit Craft and Succulent by Jona. She got a lot of idea to make your pots bring to the next level and beautiful to use in your succulent collection. And I would like to say hello to Joy Rodolfo Calma. Joy, I hope you're doing fine and enjoying your weekend in your beautiful garden. And to all my subscribers and viewers, guys, together let's make a beautiful oasis that can give us a peaceful area in our busy everyday lives and where we can escape and spend a quiet, peaceful time.
so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoy and inspired with this weekend video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please consider to do so it will mean a lot to me if you do and also don't forget to click that notification bell so you will be notified every time you have a new videos and guys thank you for watching and see you next time bye